Hey everybody, my name is Taryn. I am a Live Healthy MD patient and I am 18 months post bariatric surgery. Specifically, I had the gastric bypass and I am here to kind of show you what I eat in a day, how many calories I'm intaking, and a little bit about my meal prep. So, first of all, I start off every day with a big old cup of coffee usually in my hot mess cup. Um, as you'll see today, that cup range true for me. Um, but I stick to um, sugar-free creamer in my coffee and then a cup um, or a bottle of water before I begin eating for the day. It's just kind of a routine that I have to kind of kick my water off for the day because you do not want to dehydrate. So, 18 months post-bariatric surgery, where am I at? I am eating about 1,500 to 1,600 calories a day. Throughout the day, um, I usually eat about six meals, um, and uh, you know they're of course smaller than anyone who hasn't had bariatric surgery, but they are still good meals. And then I am someone that works out a lot. I try to go to the gym, which I usually um, go about four or five days a week, and I go to burn boot camp. Now we do high intense cardio and heavy lifting. So on those days, normally I will have up to 1,800 calories to kind of fill in the deficit of the workout, um, but not take me over, um, you know, in a big amount. Sorry, I got a little sidetracked by a bird outside. Anyways, um, so in those days that I work out heavy, um, I make sure to increase my food if I'm hungry. If I'm not hungry, then I don't worry about it. So, um, and as you can tell, I am laying on my bed because this is the most comfortable place that I could find to speak to y'all without getting 100% tongue tied. Um, anyways, normally I stick to moderate um, carbs, high protein, and lower fat. So, with my protein, of course, like they say, protein first every time. So, whatever meat I'm having, I'm going to eat through that as much as I can um, in the beginning and I weigh, measure, all that kind of stuff, everything that I eat. Um, and then of course um, my moderate carbs will be complex carbs, whole grain. Uh, try not to have like the snacky stuff, anything that's white carbs, um, you know, fillers, stuff like that. And then veggies, 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 and sometimes occasional fruit. And again, with the occasional fruit, it's mainly because, you know, we know at this point that fruit is sugar. So, you know, I have fruit, but it's definitely occasionally. All right, so breakfast. I went ahead last night and did a little meal prep just because I knew I'd be recording some of these. So with my meal prep, I made waffles, protein waffles. Now how I did that is I take the Kodiak mix. This is actually the muffin mix, but this is the type it is, Kodiak cakes. And they have a recipe on the back for how you make their waffles. So you use a cup of the um, cake mix, one cup of water and or milk. I use the Fairlife milk because it has a lot of protein and it's lactose free. Um, a tablespoon of oil, and then I also like to add half a scoop of some type of workout powder, um, protein powder, and then basically mix it all up. It makes roughly about eight uh, waffles, and there you go. So with that, I put my waffle, bacon, and some scrambled eggs in my meal prep container, pack them up, and I'm ready for the week. So next, we will go to lunch. See y'all there? <laughs> okay, so brief intermission. Just wanted to talk real quick about water intake and also um, my fitness pal bariatric trick apps, things like that, that you can load any of your food and stuff in for the day so that you can keep on track with your calories. So as I said before, I like Mio in my water to help me drink more. And I like to play a little game with myself where before I eat my next meal and or my healthy snack, I have to drink a bottle of water. That keeps me on track for the day to get my water in and get at least six to eight bottles in a day. Um, another important thing is I log all my food into MyFitnessPal. And as I log throughout the day, um, it'll track for me how many carbs I've had, how many fats, how many proteins, different things like that, along with, of course, how many calories I've had in total. Um, so for breakfast, I had my coffee and then the sugar-free French vanilla. And um, I had my bacon, the waffle, and an egg. So once I've logged it all in, it'll give me the full protein, fat, and carbs. If you have the advanced app, which I do, I pay for that but you don't have to have that. It'll still log it all together for the day. Um, 
a lot of times I like to sit at night before the day starts tomorrow and things get busy and I don't have time to log and I will start logging what I'm going to have for the day because again I've meal prepped so I'll be ready for it. Um, that helps keeps me on track. If it's logged already then I know what I'm eating for the day and I'm good to go. So make sure to get your water in, make sure you're logging your food and set yourself up for success. Alright, so I'm going to do a quick and easy lunch today. Um, I'm going to use the Morningstar um, Spicy Black Bean Burgers. This is how they look. I also like the original grillers for just like regular hamburgers. They all have really good stats on them. The original grillers are 130 calories and the Spicy Black Bean are 110. The original grillers have 16 grams of protein per burger and then the Spicy Black Bean has 9. So today, I am going to eat two spicy black bean burgers, and then I made some homemade guacamole, and I will just add that to the top of it and lunch. You can do simple, easy things. You can do meal preps, anything like that, but find a few things that you can throw together quickly that'll be easy because if you have to meal prep everything, sometimes that doesn't work out each week. Sometimes that doesn't work out well for anybody. Um, on a daily basis. So find things that work. The Morning Star brand is really good. They have high, high protein items and then, uh, you know, medium, moderate carbs and all their carbs are from beans and, and things like that. So, yep, that's lunch for today. All right, so I'm gonna show you a few snack ideas, things that I like to snack on. I'll start over here. Normally, I'd take a Too Good yogurt and I pair it with granola. So normally I take these little bitty containers that I have had since the beginning of surgery um, and I fill them with a serving which is one fourth of a cup and my yogurt is combined with these two different you know, um, granolas. Another snack that I like to go to is the turkey and cheese roll up, some pepperoni and pickle. Good little protein snack. My new favorite um, Protein shake is the Fair Life Core Protein. Really good stats, 170 grams, I mean 170 calories, 8 grams of carbs, 26 grams of protein, and 4.5 and grams of fat. I really enjoy some Quest chips sometimes because it's like that crunchy snack that you miss, but these have 20 grams of protein and 4 grams of carbs. So they're really good. Let's see, 4 grams of fat, 140 calories. And then if I'm going for more of a carb-based snack, maybe before a workout, different things like that, I hit up one of these Lara bars because they are packed full of healthy, real ingredients. There are four actual ingredients for the peanut butter chocolate chip, which is my favorite. And those ingredients are semi-sweet chocolate chips, sea salt, cocoa butter, and peanuts. So yeah, that's what I go to for snacks. Um, try to hit up protein snacks. If you are gonna take a carb snack, eat it before a workout. I found that, that that's the best to help fuel the workout. All right, so dinner. And yes, my hair is nasty because I just got out of the pool, but dinner. So I went ahead and prepped for the week dinner options and or lunch. And I have chicken, which I use this chicken from Kroger. It is really good. It is not like Tyson's. It does not get chewy and all that. It's very good. So I just put that in a pan, season it how I want it, and then put a whole bunch of it in a little dish and dip out of it all week. Then I also make this brown rice mix, which, hold oh please. This is the brown rice I use. It's brown rice and quinoa. Seeds of change has really good macros. Um, and yes, it's heavy with carbs, but they're all good carbs. I also use, hold please, this calorie-free, um, sugar-free, fat-free Walden's Farm uh, dressings and balsamic vinaigrettes for a lot of things. I actually put that in with the rice, a little bit of feta and green onion, and it gives it a really good taste. And I mix that with my chicken, and then I add vegetables with it, which this week I've done some asparagus some zucchini and squash pan, um, pan roast it, I guess, in the oven, and then season it as I want. So throughout the week, I'll either kind of dip into this or I'll make me up some of the meal containers. Once the meal containers are made, it's easy to grab them and go for lunch, grab them and go for dinner if it's been a hectic night. 
So yeah, that's about it for dinner. All right, so I just wanted to say that make sure you get all your water, make sure you're logging your food, make sure you kind of map out your day ahead of time. It really helps. Meal prep is important. It really puts you on track, keeps you on track. Um, and measure. Measure your food, whether it's measuring it on a scale with ounces, measuring it with measuring cups, regardless, and sauces. If you use sauces, make sure to find lower calorie options or make some. I make a lot with Greek yogurt. Um, but if you are using sauces, make sure to measure. You'll be surprised at how much two tablespoons really is. And when you're using two tablespoons of ranch for 140 calories and you realize how much it is, you learn to substitute things. Um, but yeah, that's about it. Um, make sure, make sure, hydrate, hydrate, drink your water. Keeps you fuller throughout the day, in my opinion. And listen to your body, but always make sure that when you're eating, it's purposeful. If you're not hungry and you're snacking, which happens, be mindful of that and try to stop. Because a few Cheez-Its here, a few crackers here, a chip here, some dip there, it really adds up. And all of a sudden you're like, why am I stalling? I don't understand what I'm doing wrong. I'm eating right. I'm on plan, blah, 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 blah. But yet those few bites here and there you didn't log, you didn't realize that it added up over the day to four or 500 extra calories. So anyways, hope you're all doing good. Subscribe to my channel and I don't have one. <laughs> Hey everybody, so I just got to work and I thought I would show you my lunch bag because with um, preparing for success, making sure you're eating right, eating your meal plans, everything like that, you should have a lunch box that'll set you up for success for the day. I work 10 hour shifts, so I have a really big lunch box. Got the yogurt, my breakfast, my lunch. I have a salad in case I need an afternoon snack and all my water bottles, some packets of tuna, my protein shake, and yes, my vitamins. And all this fit into my bag, but it was really important when I was looking for a lunchbox to be able to have a bag that was going to house enough food for my 10 hour shift um, and maybe a snack on the way home. So I have all my meals in here and no, I probably won't eat all this including the tuna and the shake and everything, but I have options. One, that'll keep me out of the cafeteria and two, keep me from the vending machine snack and things like that. So with your meal plan will your, or your meal prep, all that kind of stuff, make sure that you have a lunch box that will help you get to your goals. Have a good day.